Luke, that's uh, DP136 that we're looking for? It is, yeah, that's the DPF pressure sensor off an uh, Isuzu D-Max and MUX4 JJ1 motor. These DPFs in the industry right now, look, they're causing quite a few challenges. Um, obviously, a lot of workshops having to deal with a diagnosis of a DPF failure or a DPF gen light being on. Yeah, correct. And this sensor plays quite a critical role. It detects the pressure in the exhaust before and after the filter. It then uses that information to feed back to the ECU and give it percentage of how blocked that filter is. ECU can then determine when to do a regen. Now, the challenge here is, the sensor, if it's failing or if it's giving bad signals, it could very much point you down the pathway of replacing a DPF, which is probably one of the most expensive components in the whole system. Yeah, exactly. They come with quite a hefty price tag, so you've got to make sure the diagnosis is 100% spot on and identify whether it's component failure or if the DPF is actually fully blocked and requires a replacement. Mm -hmm. Now, um, from the industry, you've actually had a bit of commentary coming back through the technical hotline. Yeah, we have. We've had quite a few calls from workshops recently chasing this particular sensor because they're obviously playing up um, and the feedback we've got was they've only been available as a genuine part from the dealership and they're not cheap so our um, product team put in the hard yards and managed to go out and source an aftermarket one that we can offer to the aftermarket as an alternative. And that's the case. I think when looking um, at any of these components on any vehicle, it's good to see what other alternatives are out there uh, and GOSS is a great place to start. Absolutely. Give us a buzz. We're here to help. Uh, thanks, Luke, for the insights. Thank you.